Hi there. This is going to be a really weird video, way outside of what I normally do, but hey, let's get to it. So I lately realized that just working uh, from an office chair on a computer all day long is not good for your uh, health at all, overall. <laughs> it's really bad. So you must do some exercises as much as you can during the day. Then when you are uh, finished uh, working, uh, go outside, do whatever you can. But even during the day when you are at your PC, do your best to do something from time to time. Uh, so yeah. I had this for many, many, many years. It's a random cheap flexor ring. Maybe it was even meant to be a dog toy. But this thing did not freaking break. It just lasts and lasts and lasts. But uh, the trouble is that uh, at the moment it uh, just became way too squishy. So uh, yeah, it's fun to play fidgeting, let's say more or less, but uh, it's not going to basically build you more strength because it's just too weak. But the shape of it, the elasticity of it and the rest were freaking perfect. So then the search began. Let me show you. Nine centimeters, hole in the middle, about four and a half. And the rest is this thing which is uh, yeah, you can see it here, but you can just uh, subtract four and a, and a half from nine and then split it in two and you will get uh, its thickness because it's a bit harder to properly measure. Anyway, searched a lot, bought a few things that I ended up returning. I will put them on video because they have all sorts of stupid uh uh, I don't know, shapes on them and textures and I honestly think many of those were basically intended to be dog toys and uh, then somebody thought, hey, but I think we can uh, just uh, write some force or who knows what on it and say that they are a, a, a flexor ring. They do not make any sense. Why would you want to keep in your hand and squeeze something that's basically digging into your skin at every single squeeze does not make any sort of sense for uh, for me like having uh, a hammer with uh, with a grip that has all sorts of stupid things that does not allow you to grip it properly or a screwdriver with all sorts of weird and rugged shapes on it does not make sense maybe there are weird people out there or maybe they are not even that weird maybe i'm the weird one that actually like uh, flexor rings with all sorts of weird shapes on them, I do not. I managed to find uh, some some that were uh, like this one about the overall size. Uh, reviews were saying hey, they just crack. They they are really bad. This thing, I think it's 10 years old and it's still not cracking. So this is rubber, whatever the hell it is. Even some defects from manufacturing still not cracking. So. It stays like this and does not go deeper ever, no matter. So I, I'm not worried that I will crack it, it will not crack. Then manage to find Decathlon. This thing is, hmm, I don't know if we have any uh, info about their size. I'm going to show you everything in here. Maybe it uh, makes any sort of uh, sense to you, but I don't see any info honestly about the size of them. No, no info about the size. But overall, from the description on the website, they were fairly close to what I needed. So eight and a half, close to nine. Although I would have liked it a tiny bit bigger, the center uh, about four and a half. So that means that it's a bit more thin in this area, which is uh, visible but close enough to what i wanted to not uh, to not be a problem reviews fairly decent so no issue whatsoever uh, no cracking no nothing they even give you the date when they, they were made decathlon on them 
So uh, yeah, and they have uh, three strength levels. So really easy to bend ones. It's even easier than this black one. It's extremely easy. I will write the force on screen. Then another one which is a bit harder to bend. Maybe there are four in total because I see four levels. So this one is the weaker one, then this and then the strongest of them. But I was able to find only three force levels uh, from where I bought it. So this one is about as hard to squeeze as the black one. So they are good. But what I, I'm not 100% okay with, they make also a plastic deformation. Do you see this one? I squeeze it. It's 99% round again. This one, I squeeze it. Hmm. Ain't that round, is it? So it is coming back, that, but not 100% perfectly. Look at it. This one does not really give a damn. If you let it just a little bit, it's 100% perfectly. This is still not round 100%. I don't think uh, anything bad will happen to it, but it's annoying for me because this, I squeeze it 20 times, it feels about the same. Not much changes about it. This, first time you squeeze it, quite hard. Easier. So it kind of changes the level up to a point, then stops, doesn't become easier. But it does change, uh, first squeeze, it's, it's harder than the rest of them. On this one, which is just a simple stupid uh, silicone rubber, whatever the hell it is, no, doesn't do that. This thing, does maybe in time when i play with them they won't uh, this i i plan to give my daughters to just literally play with them they cannot squeeze them they are too young but they will play with them because they are colorful and they were cheap enough to, uh, anyway but this one this is what i plan to really use uh, again force for all of them let me put like this and i will write force uh, on under each so you know what's what uh, this I plan to actually use. This is decently hard to squeeze, so I like that. I would have wished it to be just a tiny bit bigger, but when I squeeze it, it kind of, you see it is, it kind of deforms a little bit and I feel it weird in the hand. Probably in time I will just learn to not care about uh, its bending, honestly, at all. But it is a bit weird that it's bending and deforming. Yeah, you just uh, bend it on the other direction and it gets back to what it needs to be. So, yeah, they are good. But uh, these are quite weak, honestly. I'm, I have small hands. So people with big hands uh, and stronger forearms, this is nothing to them, honestly. So... <laughs> It's a bit weird that they don't have something stronger than this, or maybe it's not healthy to squeeze something stronger than this. I have no freaking clue. I'm not into this sort of stuff, or at least I wasn't uh, a long time. So I don't know that much, but seems a bit weird that these two are that easy to squeeze. Maybe for women, this one, uh, or for women, sorry. This one is okay, and maybe this is just for children to play, but maybe much easier to squeeze or for elderly people, no freaking clue. But uh, yeah, probably for a man, this is the only one that's, that's honestly worth buying because the others are just too easy to squeeze. But yeah, overall, they seem really nice. Feel free to ask in the comments if they crack or what, whatever you can see in the middle uh, line there barely can see it or on all of them you can see the line right there and for sure on this one also yeah, right there uh, it's from the injection some if depending on when where you have the injection point somewhere the material is going to meet that's i think this was from both sides so the material squeezed in the middle and they needed to get rid of it not even doing a good job on the inside but the outside is decent this does not uh, have that, just a tiny bit in here. So another way of doing the same thing. Uh, but yeah, overall, 
they will get used feel free to ask in the comments how they last over the years I just I don't know I wish they they were normally just a tiny bit, bit uh, bigger I'm not sure why they are making them so small from some uh, for somebody with a big hand these are like they will grab them like this <laughs> does not make sense anyway that's about that so yeah hope this weird freaking video makes any sense to you but I searched a lot until I found these that are 98% there for me so they are almost what I wanted not 100% but close enough uh, compared to the others that are just absolute crap so yeah there's that that's about it again for this video and see you in the next one bye